say that's not going to get me in trouble with the, the deputies. So. You're not going to get in trouble with the deputies. Oh, absolutely am, because anytime I say anything remotely um, negative, then it just pushes them further away. And they haven't sat down and talked to us since a week ago Saturday. It's been over a week about the status of this case. The only thing that they ever did was come to our house last Monday um, telling us that they're going to testify um, against Casey at her bond hearing, which you know, I figured they would anyway. And I still don't have my laptop they promised me last Monday. I still don't have my phone back, or not my phone. My Cindy, why do, you why do you feel like they're going to testify against Casey? They already did. What I'm saying, when they testified against her at the bond hearing, you know, they came to the house and said, oh, we have to testify. Well, you know, no kidding. They're the ones that put her there. So I would think they're going to justify their reasons. But, you know, the family is going... Um, stir crazy because there's only so many things that I can do to put the word out about Kaylee and until the media and the sheriff's department comes out and starts telling the public that they're actively looking for this little girl um, and telling us what they're doing about it it, it's like they're not doing anything. Right. We asked them today, we asked them about a grid pattern from your home and why they haven't done that and why they're not, why they're not searching actively. What do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. I mean, they had receipts that could have traced my daughter's last actions for the last month. They didn't want them. Um, they didn't even want to go through any of her personal things. It's too late now, guys. I've already put her stuff away. So, you know, I let it sit out in her bedroom for the last week and a half. And no one's wanted to come through any of the stuff that we took from the apartment. I mean, I don't get it. You know, either you're looking for my granddaughter or you're building a case against my daughter. You know, do something. You know, I'm sick and tired of the fact that we're sitting here, we're in the dark, um, we're aching every day because we don't have our granddaughter with us. And people out in, in the public are getting frustrated because, you know, they believe that my daughter's... Um, alive. And my granddaughter's alive. They believe in my daughter. Everybody that knows Casey knows that she's going to do everything she can to protect Kaylee. She's not going to hurt her. Talk to us about the receipts. What, what kind of receipts did the Orange County Sheriff's... She has receipts from going to the grocery store, from going shopping, from doing whatever. They could have went back at the stores to see if um, Kaylee was with her. They could have done a, a whole lot of things. They haven't, you know, they didn't. So it's too late now to go back. I don't have those anymore. And um, I'm not, frankly, I'm not holding any more stuff for them. Anything I have, I'm going to give to whoever I have, a private investigator, her attorney, or whatever that acts like they care about my granddaughter. And, um, I'm frustrated. I just want one of them from the sheriff's department to call me and give me some respect, give my husband some respect, and give us a little update. They were so good about coming here every day for the first three days and because they knew we were giving them everything they wanted. And I've given them everything they wanted. I opened my home to them. I let them search my backyard without question. I let them take my computers without question. You know, they said they're done with them. I can't even get on, the, on my daughter's side of our desktop because they changed the password and I can't get into my granddaughter's pictures to even look at them and I feel like I'm the one that's being um, punished for trying to look for my granddaughter and I can't keep doing this day after day I'm getting harassed by the media I'm my son gets gets chased down on his way to um, to see his sister this morning and then they wonder why he ran out of there afterwards? I mean, what the hell were they going to get from him on his way driving? What do you think you're going to get on the expressway from someone that you have to keep speeding up and uh, making someone feel so uncomfortable? My son's a tough person, but he he called me this morning. He said, Mom, this is the first time I felt like my life was in danger. Right, absolutely. He's, he's been a tough person and in the media. Channel 9, I didn't out you this morning, but I'm outing you now. You know, I never had a chance to call the station and report it to the manager, but I want those people reprimanded. I want them fired because I'm going to bring formal charges again if it happens again, because this has to stop. Quit harassing her friends. Her friends are trying to speak to the authorities. They won't return their phone calls, but they don't need to be on the media. They've already said Casey is a great mom, that she's always taken good care of Kaylee. She's always been um, worried about Kaylee if, the, if she's been around cigarette smoke or whatever. 
whatever. Um, this Zaneda person has been in Casey's vocabulary for the last three years. Do they think that she's been plotting um, to murder her child for three years now? Come on, give me a break. Look at the common sense stuff. And there you have it. And Cindy is not the only one talking. Tonight, police releasing a jailhouse call that Cindy's daughter, Casey, made to her brother from behind bars. It happened just this past Saturday. Listen closely because this call may contain some important clues. Here's an FYI for you so you can conduct yourself accordingly. Yeah. Everything is public record, including this phone call, mm -hmm. including um, the visitation videos. Yeah. So all that stuff is going to end up being released at some point. Oh, I know it is. I had no knowledge of that whatsoever. Because oh, they told me that yesterday. They told me that after we got on, that we did that. So yeah. um, there's obviously some things that I may have asked in a different, I would have asked in a different way. Yeah, um, absolutely. And I don't want you to, you know, feel for any reason that, you know, we're not on your side about anything because we are about everything. We're, we're completely behind you. Oh, I know. Um, and being completely behind you, um, our entire focus, uh, all our days, every second of every day is consumed on what, what can we do to find Kaylee. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything specifically, I know you're going to meet with, um, you know, the uh, investigators and everything, you know, is there anything specifically, the details that you want to clarify to me now so when I'm following up on my own leads and my own information, putting the stuff together, you know, that I can start working on it now. Um, at the moment, there's nothing specific or nothing that, you know, should probably be said here. Um, again, I'll put something together before I see Jose or when I see Jose and, you know, make sure that I have something also to, to put out. Right. So that way you can get everything. Okay. And just remember, when you get to talk to those guys, um, you know, you mentioned that, you know, you're going to have your prep and everything with Jose. Uh -huh. But remember, truth don't hurt. Oh, I so, know it doesn't, but know, time, things that I have told them, again, were misconstrued and not used to their benefit. The, I gave them the same resources that I gave you, and you found out a hundred more things than they did, and right. they were given the same information. Right. So it's just about the approach, I guess, and using the resources to their full extent. You think Haley's okay right now? My gut feeling, as mom asked me yesterday, and even Jose asked me last night, the psychologist asked me this morning that I met with through the court, um, and my gut, she's still okay. And it still feels like she's she's close to home. Okay. So, I mean, that's still my my best feeling at the moment. Again, if that changes, I mean, obviously I'm going to reach out and say something immediately, but I know mom will understand this better than anyone that there's that type of bond that you have with your kids. Right. And it's, you know, it's unexplainable. Did you, did you speak with um, Kaylee over the phone at any time? I did one time, yes. And that was actually the day that mom had called the police. Okay. Do you remember what time you spoke to her? Around noon. It was through a private call. Okay. Did you ever have, or did you, were you, did you ever call uh, the babysitter? On your on your cell phone, ever receive a call from the babysitter on your cell phone number? Um, I most definitely did. Can you give me any day or anything whenever you think you may have received that? Any specific day? Um, not a lot of the times it was through text messages, so I mean the number would show up even on that. Okay. Um, I can't think of any specifics. I mean my days are all thrown together. At least know what the day is today, but as far as stuff from the last couple of months, I have. I have no exact, you know, time or date. If I can think of something. Do you remember? Do you remember an area code? Um, the last number that she called me from was a nine five four number, which was a Fort Lauderdale number. Okay. I know because Amy's is also of a similar area code. Right. She's also called me from a four seven number, from a three two one number. There's been different numbers, different times, not necessarily on different days, but it just depended on the number that she had at the time. The phone that I'm currently using, or I guess that the police still have, or if you guys have it, I had set it up after the fact to just save things to my SIM card. But you can also save it to just the phone or to the SIM card and the phone, so there's copies on both. Okay, so this blackjack, where did you, you said that you reported it missing and all this. Give me the information so I can find this phone. The last time, I know I had it for certain. I was at the Universal. Um, for for work or for otherwise? 
I was in through the park talking to just a couple of mutual friends up there. Um, so you were up there for fun or whatever? It wasn't necessarily fun, but yes, not through work at that moment. Um, I gotcha. Would you have had her or anybody's information, even this, um, even Jeff that introduced you or Juliet that also, you know, or correct me, is there anybody else that knew that you were searching for Kaylee? Outside of them, no. Okay, outside of Zanny, Jeff, and Juliet, nobody else knew, correct? I hadn't talked to anyone else about it, no. Okay, where did you meet Jeff and Juliet from again? Universal. And when you were working for? Um, Jeff through Kodak. I could have met Juliet while I was working through Kodak. I don't remember if that's when we first met. I've known her also for about two and a half, three years. Well, coming up, analysis of the statements you just heard from both Casey and Cindy Anthony.